Hi, I'm Mike Kiley. I'm with Denison Yachting. And today we're going to take a quick walk through a 2007 Technomar 90 Velvet. Now, Technomars are amazing Italian built vessels. Uh, they're built by a company called the Italian Sea Group. Uh, they build yachts from 27 to 75 meters. Uh, an amazing, amazing group. Look them up online. Uh, but meanwhile, let's go take a look. So let's start today's tour in the transom. One thing that you will notice is for a boat of this size, she does has a very wide beam. It's a 20 foot, eight inch beam, uh, which gives you a lot of living space and usable space throughout the boat, but we'll get to more of that in a few minutes. One of the things that comes with the vessel is this Sea-Doo Spark. One of the other great features of this boat is it has a large garage I'll open up that will house a tender, supplies, more toys, Right in the middle of that garage is a passerelle door that opens up that makes it much easier to get on and off the boat when you don't have a dock that side to that we have now. So to sum it all up, this is where the toys live. Let's move up to the cockpit. So this enormous sun pad is a great place to soak in the sun. This is only one of the three that are on board. You'll also notice that the forward end doubles as a settee lounge. Let's head forward to see the other two. Just a few steps up to the best view on board. And lastly, number three. Back at the cockpit, let's take a look inside and we'll come back to this. Her recent refit has given her a clean, contemporary look. This is a perfect example of the wide beam that has now carried its way all the way through midships of the salon. The choice of finishes really do accent that fine Italian leather all throughout the helm. With 4,000 horsepower MTU engines coupled to Arneson drives, this is definitely where all the fun happens. She's got all the right navigational equipment, though I have to admit, I feel like I'm sitting behind the wheel of a fine Italian sports car. The combined space of the salon and the cockpit is equal to a much larger yacht. Centrally placed is a fridge, ice maker, lots of seating, a great sound system, Simply a great area to entertain. Let's head down below. So this area was designed and fit out by its current owner uh, in its 2018 refit. Uh, it's sort of a lounge dining area. Most people go, well, how would you make it a dining area? And you have to see this is actually kind of a really cool feature, is that this cocktail table can turn into a dining table very simply. Then there's plenty of room for dining if you want to use as a small, intimate area. Or if you want to go back to cocktail table, very simple. Very unique. This is a true chef's galley with all stainless appliances, granite tops, and a large sink. Moving forward, we have two twin cabins and a day head.
Moving aft on the port side, we're gonna to come to our first cabin. She's a twin cabin with ensuite head, The clean Italian design reminds me very much of a spa-like resort environment. Let's move on to the VIP cabin. This cabin is actually to starboard. It features a king-size bed, large wardrobes, and flat screen TV. The head has all of the five-star amenities. It's such a great place to retire to after a long day out on the water. Moving on to the master, she's a full beam cabin, centerline king, As expected, she's got a huge spa-like shower with a double vanity sink. Lots of storage. and cinema style TV. Well, this concludes our tour today. If you'd like to get on board Dream On, feel free to just contact me and have a great day.